Hey guys, it's Melissa with Time Clock Support, and today we're going to go over adding a time record, editing a time record, and adding time off. So as you can see, I'm on the Timesheet tab, and we've got an Add Time Record bucket button and an Add Time Off button. The difference between the two is the Add Time Off button is basically if you want to record absences or request time off, such as vacation, sick days, etc. Um, you can remove it from your employee's time bank or simply your employee can request those days off for you to approve. And um, if somebody calls out and you just want to record it, you're not paying the employee for it, but you just want to record it as, as calling out, you can do that with the add time off. The add time record is simply a, if your employee forgets to clock in and out, you can go ahead and manually answer the time here. So let's go ahead and get started and the add time record we'll do first. And we'll say that I forgot to clock in last week. I would select the dates and the time. Yeah, I usually work nine to five. You can make a note. Now, just as a heads up, your employees can actually do this themselves so that you don't have to. Um, the difference is, is that whatever they manually enter, nothing will change on their timesheet unless you approve it. So once they've submit this to the system, you'll then be notified under your pending requests that um, you need to approve this in order for it to change their time record or, or their total times. So we're gonna go ahead and click add time record. And it's saying that um, the before time must be before the end time and that's because I forgot to click PM. So there we go. And you'll see for me last week I have eight hours of regular time. You can expand that date and get more details You'll see that this was a clock in and out record. It was manually added by Melissa. And you could see the notes by clicking here, forgot to clock in. Um, if you need to delete or remove that particular record, maybe you were supposed to give it to somebody else and by accident you selected Melissa's name, you can delete it here. And let's say uh, she actually worked until six o'clock. I worked till six and you needed to change that. You can go ahead and hit edit, change the time, and there it is. Now I actually worked nine hours until six, and it was manually edited by Melissa Rui. So you'll notice each column has its total number for each employee. This column is for total clock in and out. So basically total regular hours will be right here. Total break hours will be right here. And total absences will be right here. So let's go ahead and add an absence. We're going to say that I took a personal day last Wednesday. And I usually work eight hours, and I, or I want eight hours to apply to my PTO. So I'll go ahead and put nine to five. Make sure I select PM. I want to apply it to my PTO. So it will remove those eight hours from my PTO bank, and I'll actually get paid for that time. But if you don't want the employee to get paid, you can select this. You can leave a note if you would like to, and then just click Add Absence. And I scroll down and I see last Wednesday I didn't get any regular hours, but I did get eight hours of absence time. Again, you can expand that and see that it was a personal day. Now, if you do require an image of photo capture when your employees clock in and out, this is also where, where you'll see that. Um, if you're manually entering the hours, you will not get that photo capture. But if they are using the clock in and out buttons and you do require it, it will be noted here. It also lets you know that it was payable. You cannot edit these. 
Any absences or paid time off, you cannot edit, but you can delete them if they're wrong and re-enter them. Um, that will just ensure that there's no issues or dis uh, discrepancies between you and your employees. Um, so we could always use this search option up here. It kind of saves a lot of time if you're looking to see um, some statistics as far as your employees are concerned. Like for example, I wanna see how much time I took off, or Melissa, if she was your employee, took off this month from the 1st through the 15th as a whole. I wanna know how much time is she taking? So here it is, eight hours was for the last 15 days. You can also search by a specific time, uh, type of time that was taken off or all timesheets or all absences. Um, you can select it by location. Um, and you also can see anything from previous payroll. So even though you've already paid that person and you wanna see how much time they've taken off for the year, you can include that here by selecting yes. But if you don't wanna see past payrolls, you just select no. So that's basically it when it comes to requesting time off or um, adding time or editing time. We hope you guys are really enjoying the time clock. And of course, if you ever have any questions, you can always use our uh, page tutorial that's by clicking this little question mark and it'll give you a little quick overview of each section. And this is on every single page. And you can always click the chat now button if you ever need help. Thanks again. Have a great day.